Hi, my name is Oscar, and now I'm going to show you the IM600 tablet. Okay, let's begin. Here is the IM600 tablet that has coverage for more than 50 brands, which include the advanced diagnosis software, service function, and also the key programming function. This is the auto flash, which is used to connect to the car for wireless communication. At this part, I'm going to show you the accessories one by one. Okay, I'm going to put it all outside the box and then I'm going to explain you for what we can use each one. Okay, now we already unbox all the accessories. As you can see on my right side, all of these accessories are used to read the information of the MCU and the EEPROM. The main step to do the key programming is to connect the DLC cable to the auto flash. The auto flash is the device which gives us the communication between the car and the, and the tool by, by wireless. We connect like this. We also have a second way to communicate the auto flash and the two is by USB cable. The most common way to use it is by wireless. Here at the table you have the USB port to connect it. Okay, I'm going to put the USB cable at the other side because we are not going to use it anymore. Also we are going not to use the auto flash by now. The second step is to use the UP400. The UP400 are going to be connected also by USB. The tablet have two USB ports where you can connect also the auto flash and the UP400. In this case, we are we need to we need the UP400 have to be connected to the two for the communication and all the accessories that we are going to explain. Now we are going to explain the accessories to be used with the UP400. Number one, APV101. This one are used to read the information of the EEPROM. We have two ways to read it. The first one is to put the EEPROM memory directly at the board and then we need to weld. This is just an example, the EEPROM memory is not included. The second way to read it is to use the APV002. In this way, we only need to put it inside the board, but we need to make sure that number one of each part are matched. I'm going to make the assembly. Okay, after we have the assembly, we put the apron memory inside. We need to push them, put inside, make sure that it's okay. After this, we are going to make the assembly directly to the UP400, like this. Number two, APV104 to APV108. This board are called also the MCU boards. All of them are used to read the MCU information. We use each one according to the model of the MCU. Let's make an example. This one, for example, is the APV107. In this case, we need to weld the MCU here at the board on all of these parts and then we need to make sure with the, that is according to the right position at the dot on the board. After we weld the MCU here, we need to connect the board with the UP400 by these pins. Number three, the APA104. These are used to connect the ECU and the UP400 to read information of the MCU. We need to put here. Okay, let's, I'm going to show you an example of the ECU. We have a ECU, just for example, and we need to connect the pins. These pins are going to be connected with the cable, like this. Okay? Okay, number four, the APA105. 
This one are used to connect the MCU and the UP400 to read information without removing the MCU from the model. In this case, we don't have the MCU to do the connection here, but we already have one assembly. As you can see, you are not using all the cables because um, some, it depends on which case or which model are you connecting with. As you can see here, we already weld all the cables that we need directly to the ball instead of removing the MCU. Okay, number five, APA-106. These ones are used to connect the Freescale MCU model and the UP400 to read information. Both the APA-105 and the APA-106 can be used to connect the MCU boards with the UP400. Okay, number six, APA-103. This clamp are used to read the EPROM information directly from the model. That means that we don't need to remove the EPROM to put it on the board. So, to do the assembly, you need to make sure that the red line are going to match according to the red mark here at the UP400. We need to unlock here. And then we need to put the red line like this. We secure here. Okay, I'm going to show you an example. We have an ECU here. You are going to clamp here at the EPROM like this. You need to make sure that the connection is right. Okay. To remove it's the same, you need to unsecure here for open it. Okay, number seven, APB 102. This one are used to read the information from the MB ESL by ER. To make the connection, we do it like this. I'm going to show you an example. I have an ignition switch here of the car. Let's imagine that this we are inside the car, right? We don't need to remove this one. So we need to put the fake key here where we are going to read the information directly, like this. After we finish, we remove it, and all the information are going to be at the UP400. Okay, number eight, APA 101 and the APA 107 are used to read information from the MCU and the EPROM by connecting the UP400 with all the boards. So now we already finished to all the accessories that we used to with the UP400. I'm going to make a dis uh, disconnect this one and show you how to use the another accessory that we use by the DLC cable. I'm going to put here, this one here. I'm going to take the auto flash. Okay, as you remember, these ones are used to connect, to make the communication with the car by the OVD. In this case, we are going to use another accessory, which is the AAC001. Use it to connect the IM600 to the model through the DLC cable of the auto flash. We connect it like this. So, the remaining cables are used to connect the ECU directly. So that means that we need to remove the ECU and put it on these cables. These cables are going to make the battery of the car by the 12 volts. So we need to put the energy to, them, to the ECU by this way. If you need help with the connections of the cables, you can use the tablet to check it. I'm going to show you a demonstration how to access to the function view wire diagram. In this case, we are going to use a, we are going to do the demonstration with a Audi car. We're going to access to the expert mode. Let's imagine that we are going to do the diagnosis for an A6. We are going to access the function all key lost. In this part, we have the function view wire diagram. We access to it and the tool are going to explain us which cable we need to use to connect. We also have the image how to connect it. In this case, we weld it, as you can see. 
that's it. We, fin we already finished with the demonstration of how to use all the cables. Hope that you can understand. If you need more information, you can access to our website, arodiac.com, or you can check the videos at the YouTube channel. Thank you.